This is David with David's Tutorials. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to resize the photos you take with your digital camera or with your phone so they really fit much better into an email or on a web page. I'm going to show you how to do it for free, and it's easy to. Now, the tool I'm going to use for this is called Irfan View. It's unfortunately for Windows only. I sure wish it were available for Mac and Linux, but I'm going to put a link to it right down there in the description section below. So if you're a Windows user, you can go get it and it's totally free. Now, if you're a user of Mac, right below that link for Irfan View is another link to a page that gives you several alternatives to Irfan View that you can use. Now, I haven't used any of these alternatives, so I really can't tell you whether these alternatives are any good or not. But if you try one of them and you find one of them is particularly good or maybe not quite so good, leave us a comment down there below so that other people can get the benefit of your experience. To get us started, I've taken 14 random images from a trip I took about four years ago, and I will resize them all to no more than 800 pixels wide so they can easily be displayed on a website or attached to or embedded in an email. As you can see, each one of these photos is between about 2.7 megabytes and 5 megabytes in size, and they all have the same dimensions, 3888 by 2592 pixels. And by the way, when you see pixel dimensions, the first measurement you get is the width, and the second measurement is the height. Just think of the x-axis and the y-axis back in high school geometry. These are really 10 megapixel images, but because they're compressed into the JPEG format, they only take up a fraction of that space. Now I have Irfan View set as my default JPEG viewer, so when I double click on any photo that is JPEG, it will open in Irfan View. It doesn't matter which one of these I open, I just need to open one of them. Now with the image opened in Irfan View, all I need to do now is press the B key to open up the Batch Conversion dialog box. The first thing I want to do is pick which of the photos I want to resize. This will be easy because I have put all of the photos I want to convert into their own folder and the Batch Conversion dialog automatically opens to the folder where I opened the first photo. Now all I have to do is click the Add All button right here and all the files in that folder are added to the processing queue. I can see that I have added all 14 photos to the queue. Now that I've designated which files I want to process, I have to tell Irfan View exactly how I want them processed. Notice right here in the upper left it says, Use Advanced Options for Bulk Resize. So I select that checkbox, then I click the Advanced button there. This opens up a dialog box with a massive list of things we can do to these photos. Fortunately, we only need the resize section here on the left side. I click to check the resize selector, make sure the set new size radio button is selected, then I want to set the long side to 800 pixels, and that's all I need to do. The advanced options are now set, so I can click OK to close this dialog box. Next, I have to tell Irfan View where to put the resize photos and what to name them. Since I want the resize photos to be put in the same folder as the originals, I just click here on the Use Current Look In folder, and that sets the destination. I could add subfolders here if I wanted to, but I'll skip that on this batch. Next, to distinguish the resize photos from the original photos, I'm going to give them the same file name but with new dash as a prefix. To do this, I first have to go to the upper left corner and select Batch Conversion Rename Result Files. Next, I come down to the Batch Rename Settings and click on the Options button. There, I can see that $n will give me the old file name, so in the Name Pattern field, I'm entering new $n. This will cause all the new renamed files to sort together when I look at them in an Explorer window. You'll see that in just a minute. I can now close the Batch Rename Settings dialog by clicking OK. That's all the setup we need to do. All that's left now is to click 
the start batch button and we will have our resize photos all done. And there they are. Now in the batch conversion progress dialog, we can see the last line there says 14 files are done with no errors and no warnings. Back over in our Explorer window, we can see that we now have 14 new files with that new prefix and that all these files are 800 pixels wide by 533 pixels tall and that their file size has been cut down to about 2% of the original file size. That's a much easier file to put in a mail or load from a web page. I hope you found this video helpful and that you can use these techniques in your own computing and image resizing to help make your images much smaller than the original ones were. It would be great if you could leave us a comment down in the comment section down below and tell us how do you use the digital photos you take and how can you use these techniques that I just told you about to help make your photos smaller. Also, you can help YouTube know that they should recommend this video to other people by clicking that thumbs up button. Give us that great big old thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber to David's Tutorials, go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will notify you whenever we post another great new tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da.